but um, you could just draw across on a piece of paper next to you. Um, so, uh, if we can have the, the first slide, we join in with the bits in bold. This so is very complex. Bits in yellow to Hosanna to the Son of David. David. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Behold, your king comes to you, O Zion, meek and lowly, sitting upon an ass. Ride on in the course of truth, cause of truth, and for the sake of justice. Your throne is the throne of God. It endures forever, and the scepter of your kingdom is a righteous scepter. You have loved righteousness and hated evil. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And <coughs> also with you. <coughs> so we can now Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, during Lent we've been preparing by works of love and self sacrifice for the celebration of our Lord's death and resurrection. Today we come together to begin this solemn celebration in union with the church throughout the world. Christ enters his own city to complete his work as our saviour, to suffer, to die and to rise again. Let us go with him in faith, faith and love, so that united with him in his suffering, we may share in his risen life. So I can invite you, if you've got your uh, palm crosses, to hold them. Well, I say this prayer. God, our Saviour, whose Son, Jesus Christ, entered Jerusalem as Messiah to suffer and to die. Let these palms be for us the signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our King and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, in one God, now and there. Amen. Amen. So let us go forth, praising Jesus, our Messiah. <clears throat> Hosanna, 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 Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the, the, name of the Lord. Lord. We're going to decide to try something uh, a bit complicated. Um, we've got the um, Psalm 24, which is a psalm that was used as people were going to Jerusalem for the great festivals. Um, it's got three parts to it. Uh, there's the part that everyone is going to say, the part that I'm going to say, and there's part uh, for just you to say. So um, the parts for everyone are just in the yellow type. My parts are in the, in the white type. And the parts that are just for you in the uh, italic uh, yellow type. So basically, if it's in yellow, you say it. If it's in white, I say it. <coughs> okay? So let's say it together. Yeah. Well, Tom. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. And all that fills it. The, the comfort, comfort of the world. world. And all, all the world that we are in. For he is founded it upon the city. And set it in the river. of the who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have no faith in their own hearts. And a pure heart. Who have not lifted up their hearts. Who have not lifted up their hearts. Who have not borne an oath. Who have not borne an oath. Who have not borne an oath. They shall receive the blessing of the Lord. From the Lord. And just reward. And just reward from God. And their salvation. Such is the company of the of those who speak in your of those who are speaking your faith, O oh God, O oh God of Jacob. Lift up your head of your head, so great, lift it up, you everlasting soul, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, O Lord, who is mighty in battle, lift up your head, O head, O gates, believe it ever, you everlasting Lord, and the King of glory shall come in. 
Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. So just before um, we come to the confession, uh, a couple of notices. Um, we'll say at the end uh, the services that will be coming up for Holy Week and Easter. Um, but just uh, uh, remind you of, uh, in this time when we're gathering remotely, um, this does, of course, have an impact on our finances as a church because we're not a weekly collection. Um, so if uh, you've not already signed up to the parish giving scheme, uh, then now's a good opportunity to do it because you can do that uh, remotely. Um, so if you need more information about that, uh, just contact me uh, and I'll uh, get a pack to you uh, that will explain how you can give uh, by direct debit uh, or standing order. And that's the end of the notices. So we come to God in confession. As the crowds welcome Jesus into Jerusalem, so we welcome him into our midst. Let us then show our love for him by confessing our sins in penitence and faith. We sing, we wave our branches, we shout Hosanna, then we turn away, go back to our old ways, our old lives, our old sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, 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 Lord have mercy. We shout Hosanna as Jesus approaches, but we do not want him to come too close, not close enough to really see us. <clears throat> Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. We would rather take up our palms for the King of the Lord King, than take up our cross for the servant King. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Lord, Lord have, have mercy. The Lord has made proclamation to the ends of the earth. See your Saviour come. Your sin has been paid for. You will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. People of God, see our Saviour come. Christ has come to save us. Hosanna in the height. Amen. 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 Night has passed and the day lies open before. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we... As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of the presence of the Lord set our hearts and hearts on fire for you as well and for you. Amen. Now of our first reading. <clears throat> it's Psalms one, 118, verses 1 to 2 and 19 to 29. God give God thank thanks to the give thanks to the Lord for He is good, His love endures forever. Let Israel say, His love endures forever. Open for me the gates of the righteous; I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, through which the righteous may enter. I give you thanks for you answered me; you have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvellous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this every day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made light. He has made his light shine on us, with bows in hand, joining the festal procession up to the thorns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank God. you, God. And the Gospel reading this morning is from Matthew 21, verses 1 to 11. 
When Jesus and his disciples had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and put their cloaks on them, he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowd that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, who is this? The crowd were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, you O oh Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Well, it's been great to see people out in, uh, on the, uh, the, the doors uh, this week uh, clapping for the NHS and uh, for various other key workers. Uh, something that's happened uh, the past week and the week before that. And there's great encouragement uh, for people to celebrate uh, those people that are working hard for us. Uh, and this afternoon, uh, there's even the suggestion that we clap for our children uh, who are putting up with these very strange and confusing times for them too. It's often been repeated on social media how this crisis uh, has reminded us about those people that we really rely on for our lives, those who are truly important. And it's not the celebrities, it's not the sports stars, it's not uh, the pop stars, but it's the doctors and the nurses people in retail, HGV drivers, thin men, factory workers, teachers, carers, agricultural workers and uh, many others. These are all the people that we're celebrating because they are the people that we rely on uh, for our daily lives. But one of the other things that's going around uh, social media at the moment is um, about whether or not we're going to forget about these people after the crisis is over. Can we go back to normality? Will we uh, care more about the glitz and glamour of celebrity rather than those people uh, who really do make the world go round? The probability is, of course, that we will forget these people. Uh, we will forget about that uh, contribution, uh, the essential contribution that they make to our lives, because that is, of course, human nature. We are, uh, by nature, fickle people. And that's exactly what we see in today's gospel passage. We have the description of Jesus going into Jerusalem, that triumphal entry, uh, that welcoming, that royal welcoming. But of course, we all know what happens just a few days later. Those cries of Hosanna turn very quickly into cries of crucify. As our psalm says, the stone has been rejected by the builders. For us, it's going to take uh, a little while to forget about those key workers and the things they do for us. And it will be uh, because of neglect rather than because of hatred. So the crowd uh, that welcomed Jesus turns so quickly, so extremely and so violently. The answer partly lies in why they were welcoming him in the first place. They welcome him as the son of David, 
as the king, the ruler that they were looking for. They said that he was sent by God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And the reason they wanted someone to come from God was because they wanted someone to come and bring judgment. And then they also cry, Hosanna, uh, which literally means uh, save us. Uh, it's also a cry of praise as well. But they're asking for freedom. They're asking for a king. They're asking for judgment. And they're asking for freedom. Israel, of course, is occupied by the Romans at this time. And so they need a saviour. And that's what they're asking for as Jesus rides into Jerusalem. Jesus does, of course, come as the saviour. But he doesn't come in the way that they're expecting. He does come as a king, but he comes riding on a donkey. He's humble. He's not riding on a war horse ready for battle. <laughs> Jesus does come to bring judgment, but he comes to bring judgment on everyone, not just Israel's enemies. The people of, uh, who welcome Jesus want to be rescued from evil and oppression. Jesus does come to rescue us from evil in its deepest sense, not just that surface evil of uh, Roman oppression. So Jesus is saying yes to all their desires at the deepest level, but in order to do that, he says no to their, or, or wait, their desires that they are aware of, that they're conscious of, the ones that they have in their mind. So it felt to them as if Jesus had let them down. He hadn't been the king they wanted. He hadn't brought the judgment they wanted. And he wasn't bringing the freedom they wanted either. And so their disappointment turned to anger. And their anger to cries of crucify him. So what are we praying for at this moment? What do our hearts cry out to God about? He will hear. And he will answer us. He will answer our prayers, but it might not be in the way we expect, oh, but it will always be in the way that we truly need. At this time of crisis and fear, there will be many prayers prayers for healing, prayers about jobs, prayers for life. And God will hear all of those prayers and will answer them. But maybe we need to look for those answers in a way that we don't expect. Prayers for healing uh, might bring not physical health, but spiritual health. Prayers for jobs and security uh, might be met with the assurance uh, of a reliance on a God who provides for us. Prayers for life might bring a vision of eternal life beyond physical death. So what are you asking for God, uh, asking God for at this time? Are you getting angry and frustrated that he's not giving you what you want? Keep asking. Remember, God wants to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine. So do not be like the crowds on that first Palm Sunday who rejected Jesus because he didn't answer their demands in the way that they wanted. God loves you, and so he won't give you what you think you want, but instead will give you what you truly need. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Let's say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father of God, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son of God, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered at the Pontius of Christ, crucified died in the earth. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to heaven. He seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end.
the Holy Catholic Church. We believe in the Holy Spirit. The communion of saints. The forgiveness of sins. The liberation of the dead. And the life of the world to come. Amen. So with the Gospel Canticle, I'll say the uh, odd verses, if you could say the even verses. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your when they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of the Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may pray to you. Come, Come now, Lord, Lord Christ, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Our prayer. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Show us your mercy, O Lord. O Lord, save the Queen. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. And let your Lord make your ways known upon earth. Give your people the blessing of peace. And let Make our hearts clean, O oh God. And we bring you our hearts. Let us pray. As we recall Jesus entering Jerusalem, we gather our thoughts to pray. Father, as crowds welcomed Jesus and sang your praise, we pray that many more will welcome you into their hearts and lives. We pray for opportunities to spread your good news and courage to take them. We give thanks for your church throughout the world. May it be an instrument of peace and reconciliation between all people. Bless the churches in our area and show us how we may work together in unity and love. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. Father, we remember that Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey. We pray for all leaders and those in authority and positions of power. Give them wisdom and compassion when they make their decisions and instill in them that humility which seeks for truth and loving service. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Father, we pray for our local community for our families and friends. May our lives reflect the love we share. We remember all who feel unloved and unwanted. At this time of uncertainty, apprehension and fear, help us to find ways to reassure, help and comfort all those who are anxious, worried or afraid. We ask your blessing upon all homeless people and refugees. May we never become deaf or blind to the needs of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Father, the crowds were responding to Jesus' healing love. 
we bring to you now all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Give them comfort and reassurance, wholeness and hope. We pray especially at this time for all those affected by the coronavirus, wherever they may be. <coughs> Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. Father, Jesus knew he was riding to his death. We pray for all on that last journey. We commend to your eternal love all those throughout the world who have died in this pandemic, thanking you for their lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Hear us. Through the work, Lord, of those in our doctors' surgeries, health centres, hospitals, nursing homes, hospices, and other places of care and compassion. May those who face illness or infirmity and those who care for them know the touch of your hand upon them, your healing love and sustaining grace. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracefully hear, hear us. Lord, let us be a channel of your blessing to others. We do not know how you will use our prayers, but we trust you absolutely, that we may play our part in your healing and redeeming work in the world. Merciful Father, accept the Amen. Let's say this first collect together. True <coughs> and Grant us that we may be found in the and the way of the truth of the cross, which is Amen. Amen. Mighty and everlasting. You hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those who have offended. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Mighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of your servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come, everlasting life. Amen. 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 Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray as our Saviour has done. Our Father, 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 and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As we go out into Holy Week, um, some prayers for that. Today we have cheered you as the one who comes in the name of the Lord. They give us give tomorrow. Today we have seen you on the donkey and praised your humility. Today we have welcomed you in the chaos and the noise. 
Forgive us. Forgive us. Today we have run to greet you and proclaimed our loyalty. Forgive us. Forgive us on Thursday when we run away from you and betray you. Today we have called out to you loudly by name and hailed you as our king. Forgive us. Forgive us. Today we have expressed our unsuppressed hopefulness in the future that you have in store for us. Today we have been boldly certain of the earthly ways you will redeem us. Restore, Restore us, us on Sunday when we are done by your blessing. So as you go into this most holy of weeks, the blessing of God, God Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus sends us out in his name and with his power. So blessed are you as you go in the name of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. 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 So hopefully, uh, next slide uh, says some of the services. Have you got the other ones, Alan? What? I don't think you sent me them, David. Ah. That'll be why you don't have them there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Um, the next service will be um, this evening uh, at quarter past seven. Um, I'll be reading out the passion narrative. So uh, what happens to Jesus uh, towards the end? It's going to be from Matthew 26 um, to uh, the burial of Jesus. Um, so if you want to uh, join in, that's going to be on Facebook. Um, I think it's going to be on Broughton page on Facebook, or, or might be Scorby's. No, it's going to be Scorby's page on Facebook. If you haven't got Facebook, uh, just take some time, at uh, some point today, to read uh, that uh, narrative from Matthew 26 uh, to about halfway through uh, um, 27 uh, as we prepare for Holy Week. On Monday, uh, we'll be having uh, the Stations of the Cross. That's going to be a video that's uploaded to YouTube uh, and to Facebook um, as well. And then uh, Wednesday is our next uh, service as we gather together, uh, which was on the uh, on the slide there. We've got the next slide. Uh, seven o'clock uh, for Wednesday uh, evening. Prayer. Monday, Thursday, we'll be having uh, another service together here on Google Meet. It's going to be at seven o'clock again. Um, and that's Monday, Thursday. For that service, um, if you are able to get um, some wine and some bread and have them uh, with us, uh, with you at that point, that'd be great. We'll uh, we'll have some bread and wine together. Uh, it's not a communion service, but we'll uh, at least be able to have some bread and some wine. Uh, and also, uh, the, at the end of that service, as we usually do on Monday, Thursday, there's going to be some time where we remember Jesus' time in the Garden of Gethsemane. Um, so if you want to uh, get a candle for that uh, and get some uh, mood lighting um, as we do that bit, uh, that'd be great. So Monday, Thursday, bread and wine and a candle if you've got one. Uh, Good Friday, we've got two services. Two o'clock, we'll be having uh, the uh, family Good Friday service where we put items relating to the story of the crucifixion on the cross. That's uh, again going to be on Google Meet. Um, so that's Friday at two o'clock, and on Friday at six o'clock, we'll have uh, uh, an evening kind of meditation on uh, Jesus' crucifixion. And again, that will be here on Google Meet. Uh, and then the next service is Easter Day. Um, I think, Alan, we're going to have that at 10 o'clock, um, not right. 9 15. Um, so, um, well, Easter Day will be 10 o'clock um, again here on Google Meet. Uh, and that'd be great. All the videos of the services will be uploaded to Facebook and YouTube. 
uh, or to YouTube and then link to Facebook uh, if you want to see them again. I think that's all the notices. Um, we will, I will put all those details on uh, posters, including all the links uh, to the meetings, the Google Meet. Uh, if you want to email Alan, um, uh, I'll, I will send them to him and uh, he can let you know what those links are or you can email me uh, and I'll let you know. Um, or or uh, if you want to or ring me and I'll let you know the, the phone numbers if you're joining us by phone. I think that was everything. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the service um, and uh, whether you're able to join us or not for the services uh, over this coming week, uh, I do hope that you uh, take some time to think about the, the final week uh, as we prepare to celebrate uh, Easter next Sunday. So uh, thank you all for joining us uh, and we'll hope to see you at some point over the week. Thank you. Okay, God bless. Yeah, bye. 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 Bye.